Go learn the parody algorithm. Seriously, if you don't know it, literally stop watching this video and go learn the parody algorithm. Trust me, the parody algorithm is worth learning. But Blue, which one? The, there's a lot of them and shh, just go learn the parody algorithm. It could literally save your life, and if not your life, the life of your puzzle. CONTEXT! It was the early days of my Cuban career. I had just ordered the Xing Shao 6x6 from Amazon Prime. Now my family was getting ready to go on vacation, and the day the 6x6 was supposed to arrive was the day we were supposed to depart. The day of departure arrives, and I was stuck to the window. I was not gonna miss the mailman. But hours passed, time to leave, no mail. However, as we pull out of the driveway, how did I miss the mailman? I was watching the mailbox all morning. How that package got there without me noticing is one of nature's mysteries. We turned the car around and I unboxed the cube in the back seat. I scrambled it all up and by the time we got to our hotel room, I was up to where I had Last Edge Parody. Now on my stickerless 4x4 and 5x5, if I got this parody, I would just pop out the pieces and flip them around. Problem solved! So naturally, I attempted to do the same thing for the 6x6. But something unexpected happened. A mystery piece came out. A tiny piece of black plastic. I flipped the edges and put them back in and left out the mystery piece. I tried some turns, and it seemed to turn fine, so... I threw away the mystery piece in the trash, miles away from my home, never to be seen again. <laughs> After I got the cube solved, I was noticing some locking issues. Hmm, I thought, maybe that mystery piece was important after all. But I can't just go digging through the trash. If my family finds out I broke my cube, which I've had for less than a day, they'll think I'm irresponsible. So I made the responsible choice. I waited. I waited until that night when everyone was asleep. I crept to the trash and carefully, quietly, started digging through the paper cups and tissues and things that had been thrown away that day. It was pitch black. The piece was tiny. It took me like three whole minutes to find it, which, when you're looking through a tiny hotel garbage can, three minutes feels like seven minutes. But I got it. I retrieved the missing piece. But I still didn't know what to do with it, so I threw it along with the 6x6 back in my bag and decided to fix it later. I eventually found out that the mystery piece actually plays a really super important role in the stability and functionality of the 6x6, but you know what? It doesn't matter, because after three years, I still have that 6x6, and it still works fine. Moral of the story, learn the parody algorithm. It's not that hard. Okay, so that's the end of the video. So sorry for making you guys wait for, what, six months? Since my last story, that's ridiculous. I promise I won't make you guys wait that long for the next story. Quick shout-outs to my cousins Grace and Izzy for giving me the inspiration to finish this video. You guys rock. Thanks for laughing at my videos. And yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have an excellent day.